welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will feature an introduction to the topic of supply. Supply is the amount of a product that a supplier is both willing and able to supply at a given price in a given time period. A farmer with five cows might like to supply a thousand litres of milk per day, but they would not be able to, so this would not be considered the amount of their supply. Individual supply is the amount of a product an individual firm is willing to supply at each price in a given time period. Market supply is the total amount supplied by all firms in the market at each price in a given time period. The supply curve slopes from bottom left to top right for reasons we will examine in just a few moments. Just like with the demand curve, you must make sure that you add axes labels and label the curve itself if you are asked to draw a supply curve. The law of supply states that quantity varies directly with price. This holds true because as the price increases, existing firms can earn more by supplying more, so they're willing to. As firms try to increase their production, costs may increase, so they will require a higher price in order to justify those costs. A firm might need a larger factory or a bigger office, for instance. As the price of a product rises, new firms will be attracted to the market that previously would have thought that it didn't earn enough money to warrant their attention. As we have just seen, quantity varies directly with price. This means as the price goes up, there will be a corresponding expansion of supply. Similarly, as the price goes down, there will be a contraction of supply. So to recap, a change in the price of a product will result in a movement along the supply curve. An expansion if the price goes up and supply increases, and a contraction if the price goes down and supply decreases. Just like with demand, there are other factors that can cause the supply curve to entirely shift to either the left or the right. A right shift of supply means that more will be supplied at every price. A left shift of supply means that less will be supplied at every price. That brings us to the end of our introduction to supply. In the next video, we'll be looking in detail at those factors that can shift the supply curve either left or right. I've been Mr. Goff for MrGoff.com. Bye for now.